Hi and welcome to midday.com. Joining us today we have the team of a film that's called Chup but making a lot of noise ever since the trailer released. So that's R. Valki, Dulkar Salman and of course Sunny Diol. And the trailer has been receiving so much love. What do you have to say about that? Give me more love. <laughs> <laughs> And Sunny sir and Dulkar, what was your reaction? Because the film is kind of twisted, but it has its comic elements as well. Yeah. I think it's the first time I was scared and laughing at the same time because of the that, concept. That's pretty much the film. Like you, you've, you've summarized yeah. <laughs> what uh, we're trying to achieve. Yeah. So what was both of your reactions? I was, uh, I mean, obviously when Balkan uh, came and narrated me the idea, I was very, uh, it took me by surprise and I was very excited about it because we usually are most of the time trying to do remakes or something or the other Yama. So, so one was, it was so fresh and so nice and so interesting. And uh, I'm a very instinctive person. I don't try to go more deep into it. And that's how I got into it. And uh, that's what it was all about. <laughs> hey, I was quite uh, uh, surprised that uh, Balkis was attempting something like this. Mm -hmm. That excited me because yeah. it's all different from his other films. And it wasn't even what I was expecting. When he, when he said, hey, I want to tell you this idea. So I, I, I've seen all his films and I know. And I was like, what? This is, this is what you want to make? It, it just seems so unique uh, as an, I mean, all of you, even from watching the trailer, what, how everyone's reacting is I think how I reacted uh, to listening to the narration. But I knew I wanted to be a part of it. Uh, I felt like all of us are stepping out of our comfort zones and trying something new. And, uh, but it was a very well written idea, you know, it, it was very solid in that sense. Like the entire narration, I was just, I couldn't predict where it's going mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, I loved it. So I, we had to be a part of it. And Sunny sir, like, uh, you know, Balki sir also said that you are a director, producer, politician also and actor and people have been waiting to see you on the big screen. So how's that been? He's not a politician. <laughs> 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 It is interesting, you know, but everybody wants to make an interesting film and uh, uh, it is not, uh, interesting film means it has a uh, proper content where you get involved, indulge into the characters and there's suspense, there's uh, uh, excitement and there's anger and there's a little romance and everything happening and the subject has everything in it, you know, and it falls very well, so definitely, and that's what one always looks for, otherwise, you know, uh, you rarely come across stories which are narrated to you. Uh, mostly they are say, ye picture hum ye bana rahe hain. Mm. You know, that has been the off uh, or biopic bana rahe hain, ye kar rahe. Nobody is going into the, uh, actually coming out with a subject. So I think, and I've always been a person who wants to hear subjects and rather do that than do something else. And I was very excited about the whole thing. And especially I think in the time of social media where everyone is a film critic, it's even more relevant. It's high time, you know, the uh, media and everybody who's got a voice take their profession seriously and with responsibility, like they tell us you're a responsible citizen, they should also take it up with the responsibility, you know. End of the day, you should have a heart first and you should be sensible like our parents tell you. Think twice what you speak and why you speak. And speak what we say for in the name of uh, journalism, we have to tell them. In the name of journalism, you're not supposed to say it in such a way that the crux is not written in it. That comes later on in the part. In the beginning, you say something which destroys and it destroys. Everybody is not so strong who can withstand that. And uh, with that, what happens? Most of the innocent people are the victims because with the power of a person who can say something and past judgment. So those, you know, kahin kuch ho jata hai, uske baare mein na bolein to behtar hai, lekin uske baare mein aise bol denge ki dusri, tisri jaga ja ke itne log mar rahe hain. Aur kasoor us ad mahawa uska hadsa ka nahi hai. Ye jo aapne usko chheda aur aage kiya. So this zimmedari is very important. Ji, bilkul, that's so true. And uh, as actors for both of you all, where do you all draw the line at, you know, how much do you all read of what is written about you all, especially film reviews? I don't know. Basically, you know, when you're young, when you're starting off, everything matters. What somebody said matters. What somebody said matters. Everything matters because you feel you are the person and you want everybody to be, you know, accepting you and things to move that way. But then suddenly you start, you know, you, you get angry, you get upset, you get violent, whatever it is. You go through all the emotions. But as time goes by, you start realizing what the reality is. And the minute you reach there, you reach there then it doesn't matter actually, you know, because end of the day, it's a work which should speak and nothing else. And once your work starts speaking, you don't need to do anything. I mean, I, I, I read it and I mean, I'm human, so I end up scanning <laughs> the positive stuff and like focusing on the negative. Hmm. 
but uh, over time i feel like uh, it's affected me less over time uh, i feel i've now reached a certain security as an actor uh, i feel a little more secure about my career like maybe the first few years i didn't know where this would go whether i would have any future here and so everything was affecting me i was like i felt like people were writing me off and i'm finished uh, you know so those those questions would constantly haunt me i'd be lying if i said i don't look at it i do definitely look at it yeah. both of you all also have something else in common you all come from families where you know like i mean it's iconic yeah. uh, film families and uh, especially your dads the kind of influence they have had on the audience that's very rare and of course they're still you know superstars in their own right so how has your journey been like seeing them and then holding your own you first <laughs> <laughs> uh i think it was i think it was important for me to uh, break away from uh being associated i mean that does not i can't lose my last name ever but yeah. i feel like just what they see on screen uh, it, it, i always wanted to have my own identity uh, i wanted them to see me i wanted them to see me as an actor or, or the characters i'm playing i also wanted to find my own cinema i wanted it to be different from what my what he's done or the kind of movies he's he's done and i think over the course of time i think i've i've reached some some somewhere along the way i think i've got that which i'm very grateful for but it's it's a, it's a it's a great joy to kind of be working side by side you know at the same time to be in the same industry and or share some notes once in a while if you are especially like when you have a bad or you read a bad review uh you know i would probably reach my, reach out to my dad saying oh, I, th- i read this and he's like yeah i've read all this you know <laughs> i i've read this those who criticizing me in the 80s are not here anymore now now there's some new people so <laughs> he's like don't bother with it uh, definitely you know because uh, when i joined in and uh, that and the cinema was uh, really ruled by papa amit ji shatru vinod khanna so many other actors were there which were such so big and that's the time and we entered in and uh, that time they would do the youngsters role <laughs> youngsters were not doing the youngsters role <laughs> so when he came in uh, obviously the image was always there but i never took the image heavy on me because obviously he's my dad and obviously he is the best he is good i have to make my path so i will not let, i would want didn't want that to affect me because i have to pave my path and i was fortunate enough because that time i was not much into that kind of a cinema so i started doing films like uh, arjun in the beta barjun then there was yatim there was the care so i was fortunate enough to get the the writers and the directors who were in my age in that time and they were also wanting to do this kind of a cinema so we were so wanting to do those things and when i came in people were doing so many films together i just wanted to do one film at a time that time <laughs> and then later on i found i was the only foolish one because my shooting pe jata tha baaki ki dates nahi hoti thi mere teen teen char char mahine chale gaye and i'm doing nothing <laughs> because getting other actors used to be such a pain uh, then eventually i had to get into the circle of what the cinema uh, is and then later on then i filtered into it very well <laughs> i remember we were not wanting to do one particular film because of a remake of, of a film from somewhere and i was very adamant i don't want to do this is not my cinema but my dad said you have to do it and they all insisted fortunately it was a big hit but i was not uh, then slowly i molded myself you know i got into the whole thing because every time you can't get a great script or a script that you really want to do it'll come somewhere that's the that's the journey basically <laughs> and it was truly lovely having the three of you thank you so much for doing this thank looking you. forward to your thank, you, thank, thank, thank you. you thank you subscribe to midday india get direct notifications on all our videos by clicking on the bell icon